Hello. Hello. I'm Kelly. And I'm Adam. Welcome to I Love You Boat, where we talk about common relationship issues. And our advice on how to deal. Oh, we drink wine. Was it all that? Today we're talking about I Love You, but we need to talk about TV. Oh, God. You can't watch that without me, even though you have the entire day off of work and I don't. You can't do it without me. No. What Adam is trying to say is that we have TV shows that we watch together and then we have TV shows that we don't watch together. Yes. Which is yes. Which is yes. yes. And you probably have both of those things as well. First things first, as you're building your portfolio of things that you do watch together, you start a TV show together. It goes great. You both go, I'm so into this. Don't assume that you are or are not watching anything together or separate or whatever. Ask. Literally look over and go, is this our new show together? That you have to watch every week or every however often together? That I cannot watch alone? And the other person will give you a clear yes or no and then you are on or off the hook to continue watching said show. When Adam and I first moved to LA, we started watching Grey's Anatomy season one and we realized we could never ever again watch Grey's Anatomy without one another. No, we have to have each other. We have to be there with George and, and Meredith and, and, and Christina. George. George. You you just have to talk about it. Like it gets really emotional when you watch a TV show without your significant other and they thought you were watching it together. I mean, blood will be shed. Blood will be shed. Breakups will be had. Yeah. People will lose health. I don't know how else to say it. Good one. That's how you say it, man. So have that conversation. To have that conversation with your partner about what shows you watch together and what shows you don't. If you've seen The Office four million times, you probably don't have to watch it together. You've only seen it four million times? You need to watch The Office more. <laughs> it's very easy to constantly watch shows with your partner. Because usually these new shows, you get they kind of get discovered together in an evening that you have off and you're literally just Netflix and chilling. You've been together so long that Netflix and chill literally means just Netflix, Netflix and, and chill. chill. But be realistic. You cannot watch everything together. It's just not possible. It's just not. Like, you have different schedules. Adam and I have different schedules. If I watched every single TV show that I watch with him, I wouldn't watch any TV. You have to have TV shows that you watch separately. You know, you gotta have your own journey on some shows and you gotta have some time apart. It's okay to not share everything. At some point, if you're watching a show together and the other person can't keep putting in the commitment, the time, it's literally a time commitment to be there with you and watch it, understand that maybe it might be time to walk away and let your partner fly free, little birdie, and watch it on their own and know that you have to let them experience that and that at some point you'll catch up, but that day is just not today. Like, you can play leapfrog, I guess. Like, oh, I'm not gonna be home, so you watch it without me, and then I'll watch it the next day. Like, I guess you can do that, but like, we're not into that, because we want to experience the show and together. the characters that we have invested our time and energy and emotions into together. And then you have to have a full day where you can't actually talk about the things that you saw with the person that you're supposed to see them and talk about them with. So, if that works for you, that's cool. It doesn't work for us, because no. I want to experience the show with you in real time and piggybacking off of that like don't make your partner watch something they just don't want to watch let me tell you i read all of the game of thrones books before i started watching game of thrones and i was like adam read these books and watch game of thrones with me and he was like i don't like this i don't want to watch game of thrones and i was like fine fuck you i'm gonna watch game of thrones by myself and i did and then on like season four or five he was like oh game of thrones is kind of cool and i was like who are you you can't come in right now you better start from the beginning and he had to do that on his own he had to have his own little sad journey of game of thrones on his own in my defense i get very attached to characters and i don't like feeling bad when i watch tv there's that's not why i watch tv but you watch Game of Thrones now. You're all caught up. Uh, I'm not. No, I just started with like season eight. And although I didn't continue Game of Thrones with the love of my life, she also didn't continue Breaking Bad with me. Kelly just was like, I don't know. I'm just not excited to watch Breaking Bad. And I'm like, that's because you don't know what's happening right now. Listen, I know that at some point I need to catch up on Breaking Bad. I'm just never in the mood to do it. We started Breaking Bad like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> 
to say. The shows that we have watched together are Grey's Anatomy, Rick and Morty, Big Mouth, Dexter, Stranger Things, The Jinx, The Bob Hurst Thing. So good. All of those are so good. If you haven't watched them, watch them now. And it's only six episodes. I meant all of the list. Oh. Grey's Anatomy is going to take you a minute. It took us like a year only and a thir half. Only 13 seasons of 45 minute episodes. What is there to lose except an entire six weeks of your life? No big deal. And some things we watch separately, like The Handmaid's Tale, Off Glen, Badass, any of the Off Glens. He doesn't know what I'm talking about, but no. like Off Glen. I'm, I actually want to catch up. There are also the shows that you start together and that you just like kind of don't watch. So like for me, it was Breaking Bad, but then he continued it. I We started Game of Thrones and then I continued it. But there's one that we just haven't kept watching and it's Westworld. We'll keep going sometime. We watched episode one and went, this looks interesting. That was as far as we got. So that's the TV that we watched together. Let us know what you guys watched together. And if you have any recommendations of TV that we should watch together or separately. Mm. That's weird. Yes. That's a weird thing to suggest. Just let us know if you have shows that you want us to watch that you were obsessed with. We love good TV. It's true. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Tell us about any TV that you love that you're like, watch this right now. But for real, watch Grey's Anatomy. I don't give a f shit what you think it's about, but you are gonna love it. It's so great. You can't not love it. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your night. Bye.